We got the lead. There is all of the lead that's going right in that beast of a camper. Four six volt golf cart batteries. We have some battery updates. Went to the store, got ourselves a, a five dollar on clearance storage tote that was made out of polypropylene and that is good for battery acid. So this is going to be a battery box or battery tray to catch any in case any acid gets spilled. So it was roughly the right size. Let's see how it looks when you put all that 250 pounds of lead on top of there. See how much it contorts and warps. <laughs> There it is, 2500 watt power inverter. All right, walking in here, utility area. We have got the inverter in, right there. Totally changed plans. Was planning on putting it next to the batteries there, flat like this, but it didn't show this on the drawing on the website, the caps for the electrical on the 12 volt side, and then also this small box, which is used for um, the AC side. So that brought it out to about just over 24 inches, and that's not gonna fit. You can see these lines I have struck along there. That is an estimate of where the uh, bottom or like where the countertop's gonna be. So I gotta stay under that line. Working on the hold down and get this thing done. Making progress, thanks to my friend, we got some nice welded up parts here. We call them the base plates, so they're gonna go underneath. Welded uh, 3 8 nuts on there for the threaded rod. And then this is the battery hold down made out of one inch angle. And I gotta grind down all of the welds, especially in this area where it's gonna be against the battery cases. So, got some work to be done here, but we gotta keep rolling. Got the batteries. Here's the hold down. Just cut, finished cutting notches for clearance. There you go. Holes are gonna get drilled here and here. I'm gonna cut this down to length and threaded rod is gonna come up, tie it down. Because it's angled, it'll both keep the batteries You'll contain them together as a group of four, and it'll also hold them down at the same time. So this is what we got here. The two plates with threaded rod welded on, or with nuts welded onto the back side, and then threaded rod uh, threaded onto the nuts, right? So these are acting like big washers. Might as well do it. These are gonna go up in there, and then suck up into the 
underneath of the camper and then the nuts will go on top which will clamp down for the battery hold downs. So that's what we got. Threaded rod. Installed. That one's a little short. We're gonna see if we can get get it on there, but we're gonna suck it down here and get that thing cinched down. Parts are primed. Now that we got the parts in the paint booth here, it's very appropriate for painting today. There are your parts painted with rain on them, but that's okay. It will work.